the last video I went over the pros of GOG.com, now just like the predecessors, we look over the cons. Before I get too far ahead of myself, keep in mind that this is based on my personal experiences. The first con is since you can only buy content online, you'll need an internet connection. I think I'm going to buy a game from GOG.com. Aw man. The next con is that there are no gift cards available to put funds towards your wallet. The only way to add funds is either with a debit card or credit card. The next con is in order to install a game, you need to install the GOG downloader. Yeah, an extra step in order to install a game. This might be a matter of opinion, but another con is GOG is trying to be like Steam a little too much. Some would argue that's not true, but that's how I feel. Another con is that each file needs to be installed separately, while Steam installs all necessary files at once. On one side this does help save disk space, but I prefer having everything there at once. Well, I'm out of ideas, but if you guys can think of anything else, leave a comment. Next time is the conclusion. Don't forget to leave a like and click the pretty subscribe button to stay up to date.